Welcome to video 2.4, Introduction to Congruent Complements and Supplements. All I want to do in this video is just show you some concepts, and then in the next lesson we'll go into the official theorems. So here we go. Uh, up here I've got complements, and down here I've got supplements, the two different uh, main parts of this video. So, I've got this diagram here. Notice I've got a right angle and a right angle, and I've got angle A and B, and angle C and D, as shown. Let's suppose that A was 20 degrees, and C was also 20 degrees. Well, you could conclude that this angle B here would be 70 degrees. They have to add up to 90. This angle D would also have to be 70 degrees. So what I want to establish is the following. These two angles are complementary, and these two angles are complementary. If I know that these two parts are congruent, then I can conclude that these two parts are congruent. End of story. Okay? So I can write it this way. If A and B are complementary, and C and D are complementary, and if I've got um, A and C being congruent, then I can conclude that B and D are also congruent. Okay, I'm laying the groundwork for a future theorem. Once again, if these two are complementary and these two are complementary, if these two chunks are congruent, then those two chunks are congruent. Next example. Ooh, I've got a right angle shown here and a right angle shown there. Whenever I have right angles, I've got complementary things that can happen. Okay, so take a look here. Let's suppose that um, A, or we'll start with B. Let's suppose that B were 50 degrees. Okay, what would A have to be? Well, it sums up to 90. A would have to be 40 degrees. Oh, let's look at this right angle over here. Um, if B is 50 degrees, then C would also have to be 40 degrees to form that right angle. So here's what I'm going to say. Hey, if A and B are complementary, and B or C are complementary, and they share the same chunk 50, then those other parts must be congruent. Let me write it down this way. A and B are complementary. I'll write C and B complementary. These are the same, and if we're the same, obviously we're congruent. If those two parts are congruent, then those two parts are congruent. That's all I'm saying. So once again, if complementary, if complementary, if uh, this is the same or congruent to itself, then those two are congruent. Okay, let's lay the groundwork for supplementary. Okay, so I've got a straight line. So angles A and B are supplementary. I've got a straight line, so angles C and D are also supplementary. Let's just make up some numbers. Let's suppose that this is um, 150 degrees, and this is 150 degrees. What would uh, the measure of B be? Well, it would be 30. What would the measure of D be? Oh, it would be 30. Hey, I've got the same thing going on. If these two are supplementary and these two are supplementary, if I know that these two chunks are congruent, I know that those two chunks are congruent. I'll write it down this way. A and B are supplementary. Uh, I'll write C and D are supplementary. Let's say that I've got um, A, I'll just write this way. If A and C are congruent, then B and D 
must also be congruent. That's all I'm saying. Let's do the final example over here. Ooh, I've got a straight line here, so A and B are supplementary. I've got a straight line here, so B and C are supplementary. So I get those two supplementary things happening. Let's suppose that B is, we'll make up a number, uh, let's call it 140 degrees. All right, if B is 140 degrees, then what's A? 40 degrees. If B is 140 degrees, what's C? 40 degrees. Hey, if these two are supplementary, and these two are supplementary, and this thing is shared, then these two things must be congruent. Kind of like what we had over here. So let me write it down in words. Um, a and B are supplementary. Uh, C and B are supplementary. Since these angles are the same, they're congruent. And then if these two chunks are congruent, then those two chunks are congruent. So that's all I want to get across. We'll do the official theorems uh, later, uh, but you always have to get back to the basics of if complementary, complementary, congruent, other stuff congruent, if supplementary, supplementary, congruent, or same, other stuff congruent. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video.